Hi students. Today we shall discuss the integral of some special function. Integral of function of the form i is equal to p x plus q into root of a x square plus b x plus c into d x. Integral of p x plus q into root of a x square plus b x plus c. Here, p x plus q can be written as here. p x plus q is equal to a into d by d x of a x square plus b x plus c plus b, where a and b are any two constants. A and B are constants. Let us discuss this with an example. Evaluate I is equal to integral of x in root of x square. Minus x plus five into x. Let us face integral of x in the root of x square minus x plus five into x. Here, x can be written as x is p x plus two. A into derivative of a x square plus here derivative of x square minus x plus five. Plus b, isn't it? Now there is a into the derivative of x square is two x minus one plus b. Now equating the coefficient of equating the coefficient of x. Here the coefficient of x is one. Here the coefficient of x is two. 2 into a to e. From this we can find a is equal to 1 by k. We get a is equal to 1 by k. Now take the constant term. Constant term terms we have here there is no constant, so the constant is zero. Here minus 1 is the constant minus a plus b. From this we can find a is equal to b. Or b is equal to a is one by two. Here a and b are one by two. Now x can be written as x is equal to a is half into two x minus one plus b is also half. A is half into two x minus one plus b is also half. Here x is a part of the function, so i is equal to integral of x in the root of x square minus x plus five into dx. This is the i. So it can be written as integral of instead of x like this. So half into two x minus one plus half into Now this function root of x square minus x plus five into x, isn't it? Now remove the bracket we have. Here half into half is a constant into two x minus one into this function that is root of. X square minus x plus five into dx plus again half is a constant. Integral of root of this root of x square minus x plus five into dx. Now we get two integrals.
So it can be written as I is equal to, therefore I is equal to, this is I1 plus and this is I2, equation number 1. Okay. Now let me find I1. I1 is equal to half into integral of 2x minus 1 in the root of x square minus x plus 5 in the root. This is a substitution form. Put x square minus x. x square minus x plus 5 is equal to t. 2x minus 1 into dx is equal to dt. So here half into integral of 2x minus 1 into dx is dt and the root of t into dt that is half into integral of root x is 2 by 3 x raised to 3 by 2. So 2 by 3 t raised to 3 by 2. Here 2 and 2 get cancelled. Therefore, 1 by 3 into the value of t is the value of t is x square minus x plus 5. The whole rise into 3 by 2 plus c1 first constant of integrals. Follow this. Now we are going to find the integral of second function. I2. Now I2 is equal to integral of root of x square minus x plus 5 in x. Here x square minus 5x. x square minus x plus 5 can be written as x square plus coefficient of x is minus 1. Half of that minus 1 by 2, square of that minus 1 by 2 the whole square. So, adding 1, 1 by 2 the whole square and subtracting 1 by 2 the whole square. So, we have x minus half the whole square plus. Here 5 minus 1 by 4, that is 20 minus 1 by 4. 19 by 4. 5 minus 1 by 4 is cross multiplying 20 minus 4 19 by 4. That is 19 by 4 can be written as root 19 by 2 the whole square. Therefore, I2 is equal to integral of root of x minus 1 by 2 the whole square plus root of 19 by 2 the whole square. Isn't it? Into now it is in a standard form, integral of root of x square plus k square into dx. That is, what about integral of dx by x square plus a square, x by 2 in the root of x square plus a square plus a square by 2 log modulus of x plus root of x square plus a square plus c. This is the formula to find integral of root of x square plus a square. Now I2 is equal therefore x by 2 x is x minus half by 2 into root of x square minus a square root of x square x is x minus half the whole square plus a square is root 19 by 2 the whole square plus a square by 2 a square is a is root 19 by 2 a square is root 19 by 2 the the whole square divided by 2 in the log modulus of x is x minus half plus root of x square plus a square is same as this that is root of x minus half the whole square plus root of 19 by 2 the whole square plus c2. Once again we have that is 2x minus 1 divided by 2 into 2 is 4 in the root of 
This is famous. This is famous x square minus x plus 5. x square minus x plus 5. Then plus 19 by 4 by 2. 19 by 8. 19 by 4 by 2 is 19 by 8. Log, log of. Here x minus half. That is needed. Plus. Here it becomes. This function x square minus x plus 5. x square minus x plus 5 or plus here second constant of integration. Now substituting in i we have. Therefore i is equal to therefore i is equal to i1. i1 is this half 1 by 3 into x square minus x plus 5 now c1 is not needed 2x of minus 1 by 4 in the root of x square minus x plus 5 plus 19 by 8 into log modulus of x minus half plus root of x square minus x plus 5 or plus c then c is necessary say but is c1 and c2 become c c is an arbitrary constant so we have to write for a c here this is a 6 marks question which is important for state cdsc and isc similarly follow this now let us do one question in NCR. Now let us do a question in the NCR text. I is equal to integral of x plus 3 in the root of 3 minus 4x of minus x square into x. This is a question in the example text. Here x plus 3 can be written as here x plus 3 is equal to a into derivative of this function d by dx of 3 minus 4x minus x square plus b. That is a into 3 is 0 minus 4 into 1 minus 2x of plus b. Now taking the coefficient of x and constant term, coefficient of x. Here coefficient of x is 1. Here coefficient of x is minus 2a. Therefore a is equal to 1 by minus 2 that is minus 1 by 2. The value of a is minus 1 by 2. Now the constant term is constant terms. In the LHS, the constant is 3. In R thus, the constant is minus 4a plus b. We have the value of 4a that is 3 plus 4 into 8 is minus 1 by 2 is equal to b or b is equal to 3 minus 2 that is 1. Therefore, x plus 3 can be written as x plus 3 is equal to a into a is minus half into minus 4 minus x plus b is 1. This is a part of the question. So I can recognize that for i is equal to i is integral of x plus 3 into root of x plus 3 minus 4x minus x square into dx which is equal to integral of instead of x plus 3 write this minus half into minus 4 minus 2x plus 1 into this function that is root of 3 minus 4x minus x square into dx now again removing the bracket we have 
Now remove the brackets. Therefore, is equal to minus half into minus half can be taken outside integral of minus four minus x into root of three minus four x minus x square into dx. Now the sign is plus plus. Integral of 1 into this 3 minus 4x minus x square root of that into dx. Again, we get two functions that is minus half into i1 plus i2. This is equal to number 1. That i1 is equal to, now find i1. i1 is integral of root of I am rearranging the function 3 minus 4x minus x square into minus 4 minus 2x into x. Now substitute to take put 3 minus 4x minus x square is equal to d. The rate of 3 is 0 minus 4 into 1 minus 2x into dx of z equal to dt. So we have 4 minus 2x into dx of z equal to dt. Therefore here we have root of t just in the previous question. This is dt. So 2 by 3 t raised into 3 by 2 plus c1 Therefore, we have t is 3 minus 2 by 3 into 3 minus 4x minus x square the whole raised to 3 by 2 plus c1. This is the first integ integral i1, isn't it? Now, we are going to find the second integral i2 is equal to. Now, i2 is equal to integral of 3 minus 4x minus x square into dx. <coughs> 3 minus 4x minus x square can be written as minus of taken minus coefficient of x square is always positive. So x square plus 4x minus 3. Now coefficient of x here is 4. Half of that is 2, square of 8, it is 2 square. So, minus of x square minus 4x plus 2 square, adding on 2 square and subtracting on 2 square. Here it becomes x minus 2 the whole square, that is minus of x minus 2 the whole square minus 3 minus 4 minus 7 now removing the that we have 7 becomes root 7 the whole square 7 becomes root 7 the whole square uh, this becomes minus minus uh, x minus 2 the whole square now substituting in i2 in i2 we have Therefore, I2 is therefore I2 is equal to integral of root 7 the whole square minus x minus 2 the whole square into dx. Now it is in a standard form. Integral of the root of a square minus x square into dx is x by 2 in the root of a square minus x square plus a square by 2 into sine inverse x by a that plus c. This is the formula.
to find root of x square minus x square. Therefore, i2 is equal to x is x minus 2 divided by 2 into root of a square minus x square is root 7 the whole square minus x minus 2 the whole square plus a square by 2 a is root 7 root 7 the whole square divided by 2 in the sign it goes x by a x is x minus 2 divided by root of 7 that plus C to second constant integration. So we have x by x minus 2 by 2 into root of root 7 the whole square minus x minus 2 the whole square is same as 3 minus 4x minus x square. 3 minus 4x minus x square plus root 7 the whole square is 7 by 2 into sine inverse x minus 2 divided by root 7 plus c2 is the constant of the Applying these two values in i we have therefore i is equal to the value of i1 minus half is a constant into the value of i1 is this 2 by 3 into 3 minus 4x minus x square the whole raised into 3 by 2 plus c1 is not necessary then plus x minus 2 divided by 2 into root of 3 minus 4x minus x square plus 7 by 2 into sine goes x minus 2 divided by 7 plus now c is necessary say c1 and c2 becomes c once again we have this is i not i1 i is equal to minus 1 by 3 into 3 minus 4x minus x square the whole raised into 3 by 2 plus x minus 2 divided by 2 in the root of 3 minus 4x minus x square plus 7 by 2 into sin inverse x minus 2 divided by 7 plus c resistance follow this now we collect the text test your question and do it yourself it is a very important question for all syllabi state cbsc and isc so practice well okay